Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to grow and propagate shiso, also known as purple perella in English. And the plants look like this. It's an herb, and a very, very hardy herb, very, very easy to grow. And uh, they're basically like mint, so I would recommend growing them in pots, because if you grow them in the ground, uh, once they start to flower and drop, it's going to be very difficult to get rid of them, just like amaranth and mint. So I highly recommend growing these in pots, or if you have a designated area for them only, then you can do that because um, they can spread pretty quickly. So these plants here that I have, I brought two of them. I got them from my parents' house, and you can just dig it out of the ground. It's very easy. As long as you have like a few roots attached, the plants will live. Um, they they are very very easy to to just dig up and grow again and another way we're gonna grow them is we're going to propagate them so this is a cutting that I took off of a this tree you see I cut the, the top off of it and we're gonna try to root this in water so uh, normally what I usually do is uh, I get it a good nice 45 degree angle cut just like so and then I'll use a reusable water bottle. I just cut the top off of it, put it in here, and then we're gonna add some water. Okay, here's the water. It's, uh, it's just right out of my uh, faucet, nothing special. So we're gonna leave it in very good light so that it will root and then we'll grow it in the ground. So, but for the other two, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in the pot. Uh, these plants can tolerate many different kinds of soil type. Uh, as you can see here, my parents have very clay type soil, very tough, and uh, they, they did just fine. So um, if you have those type of soil, that would work too. They like uh, some good, nice compost, so we're going to give them some compost right now. So these are the compost that I made. Not quite ready, but that's, that's just fine. And then we're going to add some cow manure and compost. I'm just going to crush this up right here. Uh, the reason I like these cow manure and compost, the black cow, is because it's a very uh, sort of like a clay type soil. So it retains water very well for, for these type of plants. Okay, and then uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put both of them in. Just n nice and easy. All right, and then we'll add some more soil to the top. Okay, and then the, the remaining uh, top layer, I'm just gonna add some, some raised bed soil. All right, now we're just gonna give it some water. You want a nice thorough water so that it can go all the way through to the roots on the first time. Okay, that is it. We will come back in a few days when this begin to root and that will start to look much better and not wilted. And then I will show you. Alright, welcome back. It has been exactly seven days and the cutting has rooted. Check this out. So... We are ready to transplant this into a container or in the ground if you like, but uh, since I don't have any more space, I'm going to go ahead and transplant that into the same container. So it's very easy to do. Uh, all you have to do is just dig a hole and then push this in there. Try not to damage the roots, just be gentle and then close it up. And 
like that. And then give it a nice thorough water. And that is it. This is how easy it is to propagate and grow shiso. So um, again, these plants, they spread pretty quick. So um, I always recommend putting this in pots. And if you see uh, seeds that grows or sprout out from the top of here, you can pull it off. Because if you dr let them drop, they will they start growing and multiplying into areas that you may not want. So uh, that is it. That's as easy it is to uh, propagate and grow shiso. These are very beautiful plants. Um, you can grow as an, as ornamental plants or you can grow it as herb in your garden. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and thank you so much for watching.